Hindi pa man gumagabas ang GPX drone dito sa Pilipinas mga brother. May isa na namang motor na magpapatakam sa marami sa atin. Ito na nga ang SYM Husky ADV 2022. On the recent ACMA or yung International Motorcycle and Accessories Exhibition, inigabas nga ng SYM ang mga bago nitong motorcycle lineup. Isa na nga dito si Husky ADV 2022. Para sa kaalaman ng marami, ang ACMA mga brother ay isang annual event na kadalasang ginaganap sa Milan, Italy. It's actually recognized as a worldwide event pagdating sa mundo ng pagmumotor. Based on the design, the Husky ADV is a crossover scooter that you can bring into the cities while you can have a little adventure as well. May kita mo na agad yung presence na on the looks alone, the design aims to be bulky. You have different lines and corners, but not in an aggressive, sporty kind of way. Unang tingin, kumbaga mapapagkamagal pa nga natin tong Honda XADV 750 if we are going to base it on the shapes and lines alone. In front, we have a parang droid robot with a daytime running lights, air cowling, Napansin din natin na merong rubber covers yung front suspension niya which is normally a trait for a crossover motorcycle. Malaki-laki na rin yung windshield nito for a 150cc scooter but I'm not sure. We have to find out if adjustable nga ba siya. Wala rin tong mga fancy decals. Malinis lang yung pagkakakabit ng fairings na kumbaga the lines and design and the overall look ng motor speaks for itself without having to add additional designs by having different type of decals into it. May kita din natin na malaking foot space na ito for the rider with an extended footrest as well. And looks like yung gas access niya is nasa gitna, similar to the NMAX and ADVs na meron na tayo. We also see uh, a naked handlebar, additional yan, plus points yan pagdating sa forma. Meron siyang front pocket, meron siyang USB charging port as well. Napansin ko rin na yung seats niya, magkaiba yung layer ng rider versus dun sa angkas. Tapos over at the front seat, may accent pa siya ng either silver or gray so that adds dimension into the overall design. Over at the rear, we see an LED taillight assembly na may wing curves din yan and semi-block tires na rin. Para sa kaalaman ng karamihan, the seat height for this motorcycle is only 780mm, mababa ng konti sa AROC, so definitely Pinoy friendly pa rin. When it comes to the engine, what we have is 150cc, single cylinder, and 4 valve na rin yan. In terms of power, it delivers 14.6 horsepower at 7,500 RPM and 14.5 Newton meters worth of torque at 6,000 RPM. So in terms of the power profile, medyo mas mababa lang siya ng konting konti if we are going to compare to the PCX160. Pero halos the same power profile, same range lang siya ng Honda ADV150. Meron na rin tong age or yung anti-lift hanger system. Ang function kasi niyan mga brother versus the traditional engine support system is that mas stable yung bike mo even if you're accelerating. So we are expecting for this motorcycle na less vibration, better smoothness pagdating sa acceleration kasi nga because of this uh, anti-lift hanger system that's featured on the bike. For the suspension, we have the telescopic fork and gaya ng nabanggit natin, covered na rin yan ng black rubber as protection and single shock absorber naman sa likod. For the brakes, decently sized in diameter with 260mm sa front and 233mm naman sa likod. Ang maganda niyan, parehas na brakes niyan are ABS channel. So definitely plus points when it comes to safety. We have a good amount of uh, big tires. Sa front, we have 120, 70 by 13 and 130, 70 by 30 naman sa likod. So good enough na yung lapad niya, especially considering the Philippine roads yung mga lubak and hums and uh, the uneven roads na meron tayo dito. What we know about the feature so far is that we see a digital instrument cluster. Apparently, this is a TFT display. Yung TFT display, kumbaga similar yan. So parang mukha ng cellphone yung pinaka-display niya with auto brightness adjustment. Nabanggit na rin natin kanina, meron tong USB charging port, all LED lights na rin sa harap at saka sa likod. At para sa akin, ang pinakamalupit na ito, is the 15 liter gas tank. Grabe yun! 15 litro. Saan ka na kayang lupalop makakarating yan? Wala pa talagang na-release na price range si SYM during the ECMA event and hindi pa rin to released on other countries. But we are uh, projecting na mas mauuna syempre na ma to 
sa European countries like you know, Europe, France, Germany, and other European countries kung saan sikat na sikat din naman si SYM. And because wala pa talagang official price sa ibang bansa, wala pa rin official release date sa ibang bansa, even for Asian countries, hindi na muna tayo magbibigay uh, ng ating projections when it comes to how much will it cost pagdating dito sa Pilipinas at saka kailan. Kasi usually mga brother, pinapattern natin yan, ina-analyze natin yung mga binibigay natin na figure sa inyo based on the prevailing market price abroad, overseas release, at saka yung mga market price or competition naman pagdating dito sa Pilipinas and based on the existing motorcycle trends. Pero dahil we don't have enough data as of right now, ayoko manghula. So ngayon, maghihintay na lang muna tayo ng update at samahan nyo ako maghihintay. Definitely update ko kagad kayo. Kaya be sure na nakafollow kayo sa lahat ng channels ng Motor ni Juan. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that bell. Follow my Facebook page. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok as well para lahat ng mga motorcycle reviews, news, updates, eh talagang makukuha mo. Hanggang dito na muna yung quick moto news natin mga brother. Kita kis pa rin tayo sa susunod na video. Salute!